Currently, students are being asked to give their opinion as to whether they agree with the proposed change. Experts at the library say it would be great for the public. If it is open to the members of the public, I mean, um, we do have wireless facilities, wireless networks. We have reference, we have a reference collection for journals and books, um, um, and also the um, IT facilities. I mean, they'll be um, entitled to use those services. I mean, there are certain books I'm sure you can't get in the public library, but we will have it in our collection. So they will benefit in so many different ways. The library was an extension to the Robert Scott Building in 1999, which is now the Horizon Learning Centre, named after the first dean of the university. The centre carries now 260,000 books, which assist 25,000 students. Students and members of the public have mixed views about the future of the library. Some feel that security of the students may be at risk. I wouldn't feel very safe because members of the public aren't very safe. So I think that if they just opened up the doors, Wolverhampton is quite known for, it hasn't got a very good reputation. So basically anyone could walk through the doors and then you've got like students at risk, books at risk, equipment at risk. I think you've got like personal belongings at risk. I think it'd be a good idea for them to have access to it as long as it doesn't affect the students. The students are here studying, they sort of have to have, um, what is it, sort of first right to access to the materials because that's why they're here. I suppose my only um, reservation would be that it gets quite busy, especially around lunchtime, so maybe restricted access. Students have until the end of April to voice their opinion and ultimately decide whether the public should have access to their facilities. I'm Nick Cole for Black Country News.